What's up, Blue Sox Nation? I'm here for another pregame chat with Daniel Helfgott. Just arrived in Utica, and Daniel, first thing I gotta ask is, you just got back from the NCAA tournament. How was that whole experience, that whole atmosphere like for you? Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, it was everything we could have imagined and more, uh, especially the results, uh, winning a game against Northeastern, and the fan base of Arkansas really just appreciating the uh, effort we gave and the even though we didn't get a win against Arkansas, they were we really put a, a battle against them, and we got to see the best player in the country in the fourth inning. So I think we're really proud, and it was an amazing atmosphere that we all got to embrace. So when you get to Utica, first of all, Juice, the GM, tells me the story about how you basically get here, and they're about to hop on the bus to Amsterdam. You were here for, what, 30 minutes, if that, and then you hopped on the bus? What are you, a, a, a machine dude? Like, what's up? Did, how was hopping on the bus and going to Amsterdam basically as soon as you got into Utica? Yeah, it was funny. Coach was talking to us, me and my father and I, because he drove me here. And, you know, I was just waiting for that timer to go off. Don't we have a game? So uh, it was really a great experience meeting all those guys, and I was happy we got to do it quick so I could get on the bus and get to experience my first Blue Sox game. And so speaking of kind of, you know, your first Blue Sox game, you're going to be in the lineup tonight, home against the Watertown Rapids. Can you kind of talk about your mindset as you're taking field and, and BP, talking with these guys in the in, in the clubhouse, on the field? What are you thinking so far, man? Yeah, you know, it's a beautiful ballpark. The guys are amazing. Uh, they've already welcomed me and all the other NGIT guys. Uh, so I'm really trying to just soak it in. That's what I've heard from all my family and friends, and especially coaches who played here too, is just soak this all in. It's such an incredible atmosphere in the fan base, uh, and I'm really just soaking it in. Every rep, every hit every type of uh, energy I get, I'm just soaking it all in. So we talked about this a little bit earlier in our last interview that we did, that your baseball, your go-to baseball snack is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Do you have one here with you today? Unfortunately, I don't have one on hand, but um, you know, we have fruit, bananas, anything I'll really take before a game to get me energized, get me ready to go. So the, the oldest time question, is crunchy or smooth peanut butter with your sandwiches? Smooth, easily. It's just not a question. Crunchy's not peanut butter. <laughs> that's where we differ, my man. Unfortunately, that's where we differ. And the last question I'll ask you is, for all the people that are kind of wondering, because we know what you can do on the field, what does Daniel Helfgott do outside of baseball in terms of just outside of the games this summer? What are you going to be doing to occupy yourself? Yeah, I mean, baseball is really my life. So, I mean, I really have a glove on or a bat in my hand whenever I get a chance, but... Hopefully I'll get to spend time with family because I've been so away from them all year. Uh, get to see my dog back home and um, really study up for the classes this coming fall because, I mean, we're students, but we're also athletes, and the students comes first. So we really just have to get ready for the classroom and enjoy every moment of baseball we got. Well, he's dedicated to the game. You can see him on the field against the Watertown Rapids making his start. We will catch you for the next pregame chat, Blue Sox Nation.